For this tutorial, you will need to have PlayStation 2 Basic Bootloader installed. If you haven't installed it already, please watch my previous video. Hold square during startup and the Basic Bootloader should be from October 5th, 2023 or newer. This is because we're using the Basic Bootloader to load network drivers on startup. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is organize our games. So I'm going to sort them by size. And then all the ones under 650 megabytes are going to go in the CD folder. So I'm going to make a new folder and then put them all in there. And then if you have any zip files, we're going to want to open those up. And then get the bin and Q files out of there. And then we want to put them in the CD folder as well. Then all of the files bigger are going to go in the DVD folder. Alright, now we're done with that. Now we're going to go to GitHub. Now that we're on the SNL page, we're going to go on the right to releases. And then we're going to download the latest release of SNL Manager. Now we can disconnect from Wi-Fi as this will help to avoid IP address conflicts. And now let's set a manual IP address because we are going to be using a direct connection. So I'm going to pull up the run box and go to ncpa.cpl and then right click and go to properties. Then I'm going to give this a manual IP address and submit mask and then click OK and we're done with that. Alright so hold R1 during startup and we're gonna go to configure and then network settings. Now if you're using a router here's where you need to enter your router info and then set a unique IP address. The gateway needs to be identical. As you can see it failed so let's manually create the file. I'm gonna go into the text editor and then save a empty file to the boot folder and it's gonna be called ipconfig.dat. That. Now we can exit and go back into the network settings and then if you're using a router it's most likely going to be 1.1 for the gateway and then you're going to want to change the third number to 1 as well on the IP address. And then as you can see it saves properly now. Then we can return. Now go back into misc and run ps2net and now we're ready to go back to the PC. Now let's extract then run the exe then click connect. You might need to change your IP address here. Then we click install. This might take a minute. Now that the installation is finished, we need to select the game path. And then I'm going to check the CD bin to ISO and then hit sync. Now that that's done, we need to start the server. And then make sure to allow it on your network. And now we're ready to play. If we need to restart the computer, all you need to do is open the GUI and then hit start server. Now I can restart the PlayStation. Now I can choose our game. Thank you for watching.